Well, every new assessment, global and regional, unfortunately comes up with news and information that things are worse than we said they were before. Uh, it's a combination of multiple impacts, overuse, added to climate change, all of which are pushing coral reefs, well, both the corals and the coral reefs they, that they build, beyond their, their point of no return. So the situation at the moment is that around the world, probably about a quarter to a third of reefs have actually died. Um, a third are in imminent danger of uh, following suit. And on a pessimistic day, you can say that probably whatever we do now, it might be too late for most of those. That leaves about a third which are in good condition. Um, not many species, if any, have actually become extinct on reefs because there's always another reef, there's always a deeper patch where they've actually survived. But the point about coral reefs is they do support uncounted um, numbers of people. It's in the tens of millions for sure. Uh, how many, we aren't quite sure. And so many of the people there depend on the reef on a day-to-day -day basis. It protects their shoreline and it's their larder, it's their source of food. And when a reef dies, they can't get their food, they can't get their protein. And um, so the human consequences of that are extremely dire to the people in those countries. And it's a combination. As they get more desperate, they might fish harder and harder, use unwise forms of fishing, uh, of dynamite, cyanide, DDT, uh, or other forms of pesticides and poisons to catch the fish in order to feed, because they're desperate people. And that plus climate change, a little bit of acidification, or not such a little bit, and warming and land agriculture with the fertilizers that run off into the sea has the same effect as sewage. They have tipped and are tipping reefs beyond their resilience point that. Um, the natural state of the oceans is slightly alkaline. It's on the alkaline side of neutral. That is being reduced. I don't suppose the oceans will ever go acid. I don't think they can because of the sediments on the bottom. But their alkalinity is reducing. It's called acidification by the chemists. Um, what that means is anything that secretes limestone and its shells, various forms of plankton, sea urchin, starfish, a lot of things, not only corals, extract the limestone from the sea to deposit to make their, their exoskeletons. And that requires more energy. And they can't do it beyond a certain point. And if you add to that other impacts, um, it's, it just adds more, more stress to them. If you want to use a terrestrial or a human analogy, it might be that you can easily survive a disease like influenza, measles, etc., like that, one after the other. But if you have them all at once, people usually don't survive. You can't cope with a lot of impacts all at once. And the impacts we're talking about with reefs is warming, sewage, overfishing, acidification, and just extraction of resources um, in a way that push the reef beyond, its, beyond the lethal threshold at which they can survive.